In the next two minutes, I'm going to talk about how do you pivot data, not in Excel, but in Power Query. Let's start. All right, let's just take a quick glance by what do I mean by pivoting the data? This is my data, the source data. I have month, I have product, and I have values, and I'd like to have a cross tabulated presentation of the data, something like this. So the months right here have gone into the columns, and those are my months. And the products right here have gone to the rows, and those are my products. The cross tabulation of the month and the product is giving me the units or the values that I have here. How do we do such a kind of a layout in Power Query? Let's just take a look. All right, I'm in Power Query. The data has been loaded and I would like to start to do pivoting of the data. Now, the pivoting option exists in the transform tab and you have the pivot column right here. Now, this is very similar to Excel pivot tables, but the only thing that you need to understand is that whatever column you want to create a columns of so for example I want to create columns for months so I want to have a column for Jan I want to have a column for Feb and I want to have a column for March whatever you needed in the columns you are just going to select that first so I'm going to select my month first go to the transform tab click on the pivot column and then you provide what do you want to see in the values so I want to see in the values nothing but my values itself and I don't want any kind of aggregation so I will say that I don't want any aggregation now by default what we have done is we have chosen the month that are going to go in the columns right here we have chosen what are the values that are going to be provided right here which is nothing but my values column whatever else is remaining in terms of the columns, let's say the product column is automatically going to occupy the rows of the pivot table. As simple as that. You pick up the columns, you pick up the values, and everything else goes in the rows of the pivot table. That's it. Click on OK, and that is your pivot table. Now, there is one thing to just understand yeah. is that in case there are more than yeah. one combination, so for example, if there would have been Jan A twice repeated in this data, then the combination of that, which is nothing but Jan A, which is Jan and A, the combination of that would actually give you an error because two values cannot be put in right here unless you chose the aggregation to be a sum or anything like that. So here we, we chose the aggregation to be don't aggregate unless you choose a sum or anything like that. This is going to give you an error. But that's how you generally pivot the data in Power Query. Thanks for watching. Bye. Before you go, don't forget to check out my courses on Power BI and also do not forget to subscribe to my email list, which is where I share incredibly awesome videos that I create and a couple of other things around Power BI. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. See you around.